So today, what I'm gonna go through is how to set up the V2 API for Go High Level. And I'm gonna show you this integration with Make so that you can actually use your Vapi Assistant and book appointments into the calendar for yourself. And you may be wondering, who is this guy? So I've actually worked with over 50 different companies, helped them in a plethora of different industries, ranging from real estate to home improvement services to franchise consultants and many more industries. And because of that, I've learned a thing or two. So now I'm gonna kinda go into this and show you exactly how to set it up for yourself. So first things first, we're just gonna start out with creating a new app. So I'm gonna call this Test App One. And we're gonna make it a private app and the distribution type, this is dependent on what type of automations and what type of webhooks you actually wanna use in that V2. So I'm gonna select both of them for simplicity because in the long run, I'm gonna be using both. So initially you're just gonna click, click this create app button and once that is created, then you're gonna have this screen pop up. And this is the actual application. So we don't need to go into all the random stuff like over here, all we need is the super simple, the settings. So the scope, we're gonna start out by looking up the word calendar and we're gonna select all the calendar selections that we need. So calendars read only, and then we're gonna do calendars right, and then we're gonna do calendar events read only, and then calendar events right. So alongside in here, we're also gonna to wanna to activate the web hooks that we wanna use. So these appointments, we're gonna to wanna to activate for ourselves. From there, once that's in there, we need to actually add in the redirect URL. So because we're using Make, we're gonna use their original URL. And they were actually, before they were Make, they were Integramat. So we're gonna add this URL and all you have to do is select it. Oh, we gotta save it first, so we'll save that. We'll select that after. The next thing is the client's keys. So we're gonna add these keys in. So key one, and we actually wanna save this information. So this is super important when creating the actual application. So I'm gonna pull up another sheet so that I can actually save it. Awesome, so now that we got those saved, we're just gonna hit okay. We're gonna save the actual application and then we need to go back in and select the redirect URL. So now save that again and the app is actually fully built from there. The next step is going into make and connecting the two-factor or OAuth, that's what we can call it. So we're gonna call this test app one. So now that we've started the authentication, we're gonna actually start connecting it together. So this authorized URI, it really is dependent on whether you're using the white label or non-white label version. I'm personally using the white label, so I'm gonna be using lead connector. And on this one, same thing for lead connector. It is OAuth slash token, and this one is slash choose location. So after that, we need to put in that client ID and the secret that we just received. So let's grab mine right there and right there. Cool. The last part would be this item. And then we also need to show the advanced settings and switch that to space. So the items, we need four items for ours. And those four items are going to be the items on this page. So we're just gonna type these in manually. So let's put that over here. We're gonna do calendars.read only. The next one is calendars.write. Calendars slash events.read only. Awesome. So now that we have all those in here, this is what you're gonna want it to look like. The test app, authorize URI, the token URI. Make sure you put the scopes in. This is very important. The scope separator needs to be spaces. And then the client ID and client secret. And then all we're gonna do is just hit save and it brings a pop-up on the screen. So this is gonna be high level and allowing us to actually choose the location that we wanna connect. So I'm gonna log in. And then it should start the pop-up. Awesome. 
So once you sign in, now it should look exactly like this and you can actually select the account. So I'm gonna be selecting it with this account, Exterior Excellence. And if I just click on that, it connected, simple as that. So now that we have the original app created, now that will allow you to use these actions, so the calendar action specifically. Perfect, so the rest of this is ultimately really, really simple. So we can see right here in the scopes, this is what you guys have access to and what you guys do not have access to, right? So if we go into this marketplace, this will be the actual scopes and you can just select what automations that you're looking for in here. So for example, the free slots, if you wanna check the available slots in the calendar, you're gonna need the calendars.read only. And you, all you're gonna do is put that information in the correct spot. So if you go back into make, I'll show you where you can show, where you can input all that. So just like the same thing when we put in the scope, you're just gonna type in all of the information that you need. So for example, if you select campaigns.read only, you're just gonna add campaigns.read only. And then all of it is self-explanatory right here. This stuff is just, for example, the get free slots automation. All you're gonna do is copy this over, paste it into the URL, and then on this screen, you're just gonna follow the prompt. So you need the calendar ID, the end date, the start date, those are all required fields. All you're gonna do is submit that into there and you have a working automation. So for example, you can see that right here. Calendar, free slot, start date, end date, and it works. Same thing right here, this is a booking automation. So calendar events appointment, and you have the actual booking function right here. So calendar ID, location ID, all the information, and you just submit and it works perfectly. So. As you guys saw in that video, we should now all understand exactly how to set up the V2 API for Go High Level, and it'll allow you to do a multitude of different functions, not only just the voice assistant Bobby, but you can also use it to create many other things completely automated, like creating sub accounts or different things like that. And if you want my company to actually implement some systems for you, feel free to book a call below, and we're happy to help out. Nevertheless, Pleasure and have a great day.